On Crystal Serenity, there are numerous options for activities and entertainment, from tennis and golf, to lounging on the sun deck, shopping, or maybe having some fun in the casino, to evening music and performance entertainment. Guests always have wonderful choices, but what if you could combine food and entertainment Crystal Cruises is now hosting the Supper Club on select formal nights. And today, I'm working with the culinary team to develop a menu for the event. But first, I'm going to the Stardust Club, where I'll meet up with Raf, the assistant cruise director, who will tell me what the Supper Club is all about. Raf? How you doing, John? Nice to see you. Thanks for inviting me up to Stardust. I want to get a feeling of what this supper club's all about. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me take you inside and I'll show you where it all takes place. Thanks, mate. Raf, the current team and I are designing the menu for this evening's supper club. I'm really excited, but I wanted to come up and get a feeling of what is the supper club? What do I expect? What's the ambience? What's the music? That way, we can plan a menu to match it. I think you're going to find it's a very unique experience on the ship. It's basically what we're creating is an atmosphere of elegance and class. It's a place where you go and have a dining experience that you wouldn't experience anywhere else on the ship. Uh, the lighting has changed, of course, the whole setup. You have the band very, very close, and the music is definitely elegant and classy, and indicative of a certain era and a certain style. And we're talking for us mainly about the American songbook. I think we want to try to bring back some of that music, that amazing music from the 20s and 30s, but do it in a modern style, a little bit like the Dinah Krall has done and Michael Bublé. But every once in a while, there'll be a little surprise piece of entertainment where someone will actually come on the stage, either a violinist or a dancer or a vocalist, and give us a little special performance just to break things up a little bit. And you'll find that you'll be able to dine and have a conversation. And then okay. every once in a while, if you want to lean over and listen to a song that you particularly like, you can do that. Raf, I really feel it. I feel the elegance. I feel the ambience. I don't know why I can imagine some caviar. Some caviar could be nice and then maybe some steak. I'm going back into the kitchen and I'm gonna design a menu with our marvelous team. That's gonna be phenomenal. I will see you later on. Thank you, brother. Okay, bye. Now that I've learned about the atmosphere, I'm meeting with Chef Werner to discuss appetizers for the event. Chef. Hey, John. How are you? I went and met with Raphael. It's a beautiful environment and I just, I can't help but think that we do a little bit of a throwback. I want a caviar dish, I don't know what your thoughts are. Yeah, caviar, of course, is always good. It's very popular with the people, so yeah. Um, but I would still keep it traditional, keep it to that kind of era, you know, yeah. that we have. Chef Werner's idea of serving the caviar in a classical way makes sense. Chopped egg white, egg yolk, diced onion, and creme fraiche or sour cream make the perfect combination. This is a great way to open up an evening, especially with a cold glass of champagne. Um, we've got some vegetarians on board, so we could actually do a vegetable tureen. We'll dress the plate with a lemon and basil aioli, add some dots of butternut squash puree, and then we'll add a vegetable tureen We'll roast the vegetables, peppers, zucchini, spinach, eggplant. Top this with some olive oil caviar, a little bit of parsley, and a balsamic crisp. There you have it, a delicious vegetarian appetizer. Perfect. Does that sound Fit good? Nicely, yeah. Sounds, doesn't it sound great? It sounds magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I need the soup. Okay. Um, we still have asparagus down there, which is nice and fresh. We'll make an asparagus custard for the center of the bowl, top it off with a little piece of asparagus, and then table side, we can pour in some white asparagus soup. Topping it with some olive oil, it'll make for a wonderful light soup. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna meet with David to okay. chat about main course. Thanks, yep. Chef, enjoy yep. your view. Thank you. 
Now that we've planned the appetizers with Chef Werner, I think what we should do is go meet with Chef David and let's plan the main courses. David. Yes. How are you? Very good, how are you? Um, I'm planning supper club for tonight. I just met with Chef, we've planned the appetizers. We're gonna do a caviar course. But I can't help but think we should have a beef course. What are your thoughts? Yeah, beef is always, is always popular. I mean, a nice roasted tenderloin. Chef David had the idea of making a chocolate demi-glass. Swirl that out on the plate to give it a pretty design. And then top that with some perfectly cooked filet steak. And a nice puree of potatoes. Some grilled asparagus. Some grilled artichoke. Makes for the perfect steak course. To finish this off, David had said cherries and chocolate go together so well. There you have it. Perfectly cooked steak with a chocolate demi-glass and pickled cherries. Fish course. What are your thoughts? What have we got? What fresh fish have we got? Chilean sea bass. Love it. So, How about um, sea bass gets along really well with uh, pommes puree? Mashed potato. Pommes puree we can make uh, nice and buttery. Buttery, nutmeg, salt, pepper. Nice and simple. Excellent. For the fish course, a red wine reduction, some creamy pommes puree, and just simply cooked Chilean sea bass with some fresh herbs, some turnip, and some carrot add a little bit of colour and nice flavour as well as a little bit of beetroot and then finally garnish this with some pea shoots this is a real simple fish dish but it tastes absolutely delightful all right i think we're covered i'm gonna go and see harry about dessert thanks yeah, no buddy problem. looking Thank forward you. to it too. With Chef Werner's and Chef David's ideas in motion, it's time to meet up with Chef Harold and chat about dessert. Harold! Hello, John. So, I've been up to the supper club. It's romantic, it's elegant. Looking for a chocolate dessert. I'm thinking something like a mousse or something like that. What are your thoughts? You know, maybe we can make a, like a chocolate truffle cake, something with the coffee flavor. What about some hazelnut plain? Yeah, maybe some hazelnut uh, sponge inside. And what about for garnish? For garnish, I would say maybe a Kalua Savayon. It fits very good. Done. Yo, you got this. As a chef, we're always learning. Chef Harry was teaching me how to plate the dessert this evening. And I have to say, I wasn't doing an awfully swell job and then the master took his place. To plate this dessert, we're going to cut out a piece of chocolate mousse cake. We're going to spray it so it's got two different colors. It makes it very artistic on the eye. Place this on the plate next to the chocolate ganache. And we're going to top this with a vanilla bean cream. Top it off with a nice garnish of chocolate. Some strawberry puree will add nice color and strawberry flavor. And then finally, a little bit more of that cream and a bit of white chocolate. A little bit of cookie crumble will have a nice texture. And then some flowers. There you have it. Chocolate mousse tart with fresh cream and chocolate ganache and cookie crumble. Now that we've planned the menu, it's time for the event to begin. The front house team prepare the tables and the silverware. The musicians rehearse and the guests get into their formal attire. It's just how Raf said it would be, glamorous and elegant with a modern twist.
I truly enjoyed being a part of the Supper Club. I want to thank all the band members, the singers, the dancers, and all of the food and beverage team. Until next time, I'm John Ashton. Cheerio for now.